Hi y'all, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you what we are using for my preschooler for the 2024, 2025 homeschool year. So stay tuned. Okay, so if you are new, welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Dina and I am a homeschooling mama of five kiddos, 10 and under. And on this channel, I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling, and for encouraging mamas in this amazing season of motherhood. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, then click the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click the little bell icon so you get notified whenever new videos pop up. Can you hear my kids? Amazing season of motherhood. <laughs> And you can follow us over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace. All right, you guys. Well, I am excited. I'm going to show you what we are using for our preschooler. Just a little bit of a um, background. So we normally do two years of preschool. Last year I did my preschool videos and I kind of kind of changed it up a little bit and did subscription boxes and different things like that. Halfway through the year I realized I really want to go back to what I used before and um, so we only really got maybe not even a quarter of a way through the curriculum that I had used before and so I'm going to show you we're actually going to use that curriculum this year which is a little bit different than what we normally do but we're going to use a couple of different curriculum this year for my preschooler and just kind of just kind of figure it out. <laughs> Oh, I hate that I did that my last preschooler. I should have just stuck with what worked. I hate that I did that, but um, but it's okay. We are fine. And um, we do two years of preschool normally because my kids, um, because they're so close in age, they want to do school with their older siblings. So, so I'll show you in a bit what we are going to do with my preschooler. Um, I also want to apologize for the lighting. I, it is monsoon season here in Southern Arizona. And so like you can see some shadows and stuff like that because the lighting, we've got a lot of cloud cover right now. Thank God, because it is so hot here without it. So, um, so it is actually really nice, but it makes for kind of weird filming. So, um, so I apologize for that, but I don't even know if you can tell, but anyway, what are you doing? So yes, so my preschooler is four years old. Her birthday's in October. So she will be five pretty quick into the year. And that's about where I want to have them. Um, my very first one, I started her actually earlier than that i started her when she was three she because her birthday is in october also when she was three almost four and then she was in kindergarten when she was four almost five um and then in first grade um when she was five almost six you know and so um and then that's when i realized mm, i might have pushed she was doing fine but as far as maturity wise to be going into second grade was a little bit um I felt like she just wasn't ready for it. And so um, so I kept her in first grade for two years, which was completely fine. And now she is just like thriving. I did the same thing with my boy. We did kindergarten for two years and it's completely fine. I like that we have um, a little bit of wiggle room in there in these early years, you know? And I mean, I, I would think even in the later years too. As homeschoolers, we have a lot of um, flexibility, which is wonderful. Okay, so without any further ado, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what we have for my preschooler. All right, guys. So the first thing that I want to show you for my preschooler is this um, preschool course book from the good and the beautiful. We affectionately call this the puppy book. <laughs> Oh, we love this one so much. It is so much fun and so easy to use. Okay, so this is unit one, and it's so cute. This is the first thing it does. Um, it's actually lesson one. So unit one, lesson one, you go through the alphabet, and The Good and the Beautiful has a YouTube channel, and their songs are so beautiful and oh, so calming, which you need at this age. <laughs> and then um, it goes through, and it introduces the letter A. Find the letter A. Look at the crocodile. There's some neat imaginative stuff up here. Like close your eyes, imagine you were somewhere. I don't remember and I can't read it through the camera, but, <laughs> um, but it was so good. And that's it. 
one page right there, front and back, is the lesson. And with this one, what I usually do is I will set a timer for about 10 minutes. And 10 minutes gives us enough time to do the lesson. Um, throughout the book, it does go through some of this and tell you, it kind of reinforces the um, the way that you hold the pencil or the way that your child holds the pencil. Um, this has some tracing in there. This doesn't include handwriting. Handwriting is completely separate, but it does enforce, not enforce, I'm sorry, reinforce um, the way that they hold a pencil. All of my children have been pretty good at holding the pencil, but this actually is really good how that teaches them to pull, put the pencil like that and turn it around and then lay it on your hand and that's pretty much it. Um, and it does that throughout the book. And so if your child gets it, great. But if your child is not getting it for whatever reason, there could be a few different reasons why they don't get it, um, then it's a good reminder to just, okay, let's try this again. Um, and then cutting practice, which is always fun. Um, just different colors. Um, again, see here, another one, tracing practice. We love these, oh, let me see. We love these where they start right here with their finger and they go through and they're supposed to tell you the letter, if it's uppercase or lowercase and the sound. What I do is I go through and say, what's the letter? Let's just focus on the letter. So A, B, A, B. And she just goes through, it's like, okay, now tell me if it's uppercase or lowercase, uppercase, uppercase, lowercase, <laughs> um, you know, and then she'll go through and tell me the sounds. Cause it's a lot to try it, at least it was for my kids. It was a lot to do all three for each. Um, so that's kind of usually what I do. Um, all right, so I'm just kind of flipping through. It's so fun. This is one of our favorite activities where what does the letter start with? B, balloon, does it start with an A or a B, you know? And then cutting. Oh, this is actually pretty old. The animation is new, but they had this in like their very first like preschool stuff. <laughs> Oh, I just love this book so much. And here they use the D, D is for donut, D is for donut. Um, and I can't remember if in here they also show you to do this thing where, you know, you put your, your hand like that. I can't do it with both hands. Um, and you put your other hand like that and you know, which one is the D. I know they do um, in here where it spells bed, you know, B comes first. I can't. I don't know. It's in here somewhere where it actually they actually make the B and the D into a bed. Um, but it's really cool. But every child has that struggle where it's B and D. My my last one that went through this, she it seemed like she caught on pretty quick, and then she kind of lost it <laughs> later on. <laughs> but I mean, it happens. And so look, throughout this book, we we're already on lesson twenty nine. Throughout this book, it goes through that. It's got some numbers in here. So, um, see numbers right here. At this level, guys, they don't need a whole lot of math. Like there isn't a, a separate math course. It's all kind of incorporated in here because we're really learning like letters, letters, sound, letter recognition, um, um, number recognition. What do numbers mean? Let's count, you know, let's say our letters, let's say our alphabet, let's trace, let's do, cutting practice. Let's uh, see here some where they count and then they have to circle the right one. Um, so yeah, there's so much. It's so cute. Oh, I just love this thing. I completely, sometimes, you know, you forget when you haven't done it in a while. <laughs> oh, my little one is going to love this so much. Look how pretty that is. And it goes through and I believe it goes through all of the letters. Um, um, I wouldn't necessarily, I, I know, I think you, your child should be able to master their letters by the end of this book. Um, at least their letter sounds because in the next book, let me see in the next book, they start reading a little bit more. Let's see. It doesn't say here in the front. Let's look in the back. Okay, there's colors, letter sounds, letters and sounds, matching, motor skills, numbers, rhyming, shapes, and sorting. That's so cool. And that's really all you need for this age, for preschool. The letters, or the letters, the um, lessons are short and sweet, and everything is like right here. Oh, this is what I love about the good and the beautiful. It's all like 
concise, you know? <laughs> oh, here's a cool cutting practice right here. That's neat. It's just short and concise. See, we're already towards the end and they're still going through the B and the D practice. And they even do this a, a little bit in the kindergarten prep book also, I believe. If I'm remembering correctly, they do that a little bit in the kindergarten prep. Um, oh, and this is what I was just thinking of. So you here, it switches it where it's, you match the last letter. So crab, is it a B or a D? Is it a B or a D? It's crab or snail, and they have to circle the last letter. Some more like tracing and handwriting was down there. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then a little certificate of completion um, at the back of the book here. So yeah, so this is the course book and it comes with a few different things I'm gonna show you. One of them is this practice sheets. So I'll just kind of flip through here and it's just extra practice. You can decide whether you need this or not. I really enjoyed having this. Um, it was something that my child could do independently if they wanted to. Um, like say I wasn't ready for, uh, like to quite get to her. Um, I could say, go do a couple of practice sheets and I would get them for her, or I'd, I'd pick the ones that she needed to do, and then um, look at the color by number. I love that, look at that, color by number. And look how big the number is, it's so cool. It's like their first little color by number. Um, so I really enjoyed having these. We actually did not finish these um, with my last kid. Oh, it has you pull these out every once in a while and do different, um, not projects, what was I going to say, different um, activities with these letters here. It'll say pull out the letter D from the practice sheets um, and do that. And if you, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if these are required. I don't think so because again, like it, what's really required are these first pages. Um, but these first pages you can probably just write on your own, right? <laughs> So if you need to not get this section or these practice sheets, I think it would be okay. All right, so this is something else that is required. Um, these are the folder activities for this level. And you can see here, um, you can tell I have um, been using these for a couple of kids because <laughs> it's all kind of disheveled. Um, but you've got the mouse house. These are all different folder games. And it's neat because all the games in here, they're all um, tidy in their little folder. And when the book says to pull one of these out, you just go and you pull it out. And you open the folder and it's got everything in here. Now you do have to punch them out. Um, I believe maybe I still have some. Yes. So see here are some that I kind of punched out and I kind of didn't. I'm not sure why <laughs> why I didn't finish doing that. Um, but you go through and you just punch them out. Guys, it takes you like five minutes to do it all. Um, it's easy peasy to put it all together. I actually, um, like you can tell, I actually didn't punch it out until the book said to do it. Um, and then I punched them out and it was really easy. And she helped me do it and it was kind of fun. Um, something else that it tells you and it gives you are like little ABC flashcards. And so we did that together. That one took a little bit longer to punch out, um, but they were really cool and I really liked those. Um, here it gives you instructions on how to play for activity one, instructions on how to play for activity two. They actually really love this one. You have to put the mouse underneath one of the houses. So, you know, you tell them, okay, look away and then you put the houses all over. Let's see, just kind of like that. There's more over here, but we'll just do this. Um, and then they have to go through, they have to tell you the letter it is and the sound that it makes and if it's uppercase or lowercase. And once they tell you all three of those things, they can pick up their house. Oh, there's no mouse in, the, in that house. Um, but it's so cool, they love this. There's this one and I believe there's another game that's similar to it, um, maybe like with the, with more like letters. I think this is A through E in this game set right here. Um, but that is, is just so much fun. And they have the elephant game in here. If you're familiar with the Good and the Beautiful, that is a classic Good and the Beautiful game. Let's see. Oh, here's hide and seek pets. That's kind of something that's very similar. 
um, letter boats, otter pond. Oh, feed the elephant. It's so much fun. And see, it just stays all together. I've seen stuff on Pinterest, you know, where you can put stuff like this together for your kids, but, but guys, like it comes, it comes just ready to go. Not ready to go. I mean, you have to punch them out, but <laughs> it comes, oh, and a place to store it. It's so cool. So this one, you feed the elephant. And again, it's got instructions up here. Um, it has preparations on what you need to do as a parent to prepare this game, which is basically um, punch these little things out and cut a little hole right here so that way you can feed the elephant. So the we'll go through and we'll say, what letter is this? Oh, this is M. And then they can go in here and feed the elephant yay and then we'll go through it again and we'll say okay what sound does this letter make mm, good good all right feed the elephant and oh my gosh it's just so much fun <laughs> it's just so deep it's so simple and so easy um and they're quick easy games which i love um and like virtually no prep on your part which is amazing i'm this is going to be very hard to put in with um two hands, so I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> and do that off camera. But it's got so many games in here, guys. Uh, Moon Match, oh, it's got flashcards. Okay, flashcards that you're not using. I wonder if I took all of these out. Nope, I didn't. See, you can see some flashcards in here. Um, and then it's got flashcards that you are using over here. I did not take any of those out. And I like that you just pull out the folder and everything is there, ready to go. And this has lasted us for a couple of years, so that's really cool, this, this little thing here, <laughs> this plastic thing. And I just keep it in with her school stuff in her bin. So yeah. And here's something else that um, I wanted to show you guys. Now I ordered this, but it just hasn't come in yet. But this is a pre-writing for Littles Part 1. And this is their handwriting course for preschool. And so I wanted to kind of show you a little bit. This is just the uh, sample pages. So you can actually go through to the Good and the Beautiful website and go through and look at this on your own. Um, but this is kind of just, um, you know, showing they about this course, doing handwriting, pencil grip, and these are the pages here. So like she can come over here and just, she tries to connect the dots here. Um, and I have a little one that she loves to color. She loves to draw, she loves to write. Um, so I just thought that she would just really, really enjoy this. And then once they finish doing that, they can color it so it looks they have to connect the dots here trying to go around and then they can color it and that's just the first page um, and then here's another page here where they're doing spirals um, and that's so neat and they could see it you know it's like a shell you know and so it's really neat I really do enjoy these handwritings um, it's simple enough for them um, and it's but it's fun enough to keep them engaged um, sharks, so she's going to like that one. <laughs> um, and so, you know, here we've got straight lines. Um, this one was a little bit tricky for my fourth child. She, I had to say, okay, line, stop, and then line, stop, line, stop, because she just kind of curved around them, you know. Um, so that was uh, neat to see her grow in her development of that. Um, here's a gator. <laughs> And see, they get to trace his teeth. Oh, so that's really cool. Oh, and look here, it says, trace the lines and color the picture. Would an alligator make a good pet? So that's kind of neat. They're giving you kind of discussion um, points there. <laughs> so that's neat. Oh, and there's another one. What happens while the caterpillar is inside the cocoon? Guys, I've used this before. I don't know if I've used it two years or one year, um, but I didn't actually see these questions up here before. <laughs> that's my bad. Oh, but that's really cool. So you can talk to your kid about it, you know, afterwards. I usually just have them go and say, okay, go do a page of your handwriting and they'll go. And I do have them come and show it to me afterwards so I can see one, that they have actually done it. And then two, um, just so I can have a good idea of, okay, what do they need more work on? 
um, and all of that. So, and this is cool hearts. She loves hearts. She asks me to draw a big heart for her, like almost every day, almost every day, multiple times a day. Um, and then she does different things with the hearts and she colors them in or whatever. Um, but the other day she actually drew a heart by herself and she was so proud of herself. It was so cute to watch. Um, so this is, this will be neat for her. She loves hearts so much. <laughs> swirls uh which one would you want to ride that's cool that's neat <laughs> so yeah guys so this is neat. um this is one here where they try to go and um get through this without touching the lines and usually what i say it's like oh no the, the little the little baby needs her mama and so um let's help her get her mama to the baby and um, so she'll go through and she's gonna try not to touch the lines, but if she does, it's okay. I don't get upset with them or anything like that. Um, and this is something that they did start doing too. So they start doing letter formations towards the end of the book. So that's G, here's N, kind of, I guess, letter formation. This is an end, um, but they're not actually writing it out. Um, they've got it within it. So then they can color the R if they want to. Here's a V and they do have some sort of practice here with the zigzags. And then at the end here, they have this certificate, which look at the beautiful is really good at doing that, giving you a certificate in case you want to use it. Um, I usually print out certificates at the end, like um, for the end of the grade or especially if they're at the end of their kindergarten year, but this is neat to have. I'll probably just tear this out and put their name on it. And it's, I don't know, something cute, something exciting to celebrate, but um, knowing, you know what, we might not keep that. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> okay, and the next thing I want to show you guys is this old binder. <laughs> Look how beat up that looks. This is the Letter of the Week program, guys. This is what we have. Um, what I use for my preschoolers for their first year, I usually do this first and then I will do like the good and the beautiful the next year. But um, if you saw my videos from last year, I kind of tried something different and in the middle of the year I decided, no, I want to do this. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, do this. So right now we are on letter I. And the way that this comes is it's a digital download. So it comes with all of the things in here that you print out and laminate if you choose to laminate it. And I will link it all down below where you can go and um, order. It's from Confessions of a Homeschooler. We have used this curriculum, guys, since the very beginning. The very, very beginning. It was the first curriculum that I ever bought for my then preschooler. She's in fifth grade now. <laughs> But oh, we loved it then, and I love it now, and it's so good. And it goes over the same concepts as, like, these two are basically the same. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of a day of this, and then I'll do a day of this, and we'll just kind of go back and forth and play a little bit. And I love this because it is all lined up for you. This is all lined up for you. You can print it this way, which is what I did, or you can actually print it landscape, which makes the writing a little bit bigger. Um, but also I wanted to mention, I have a whole video of this, guys. I have a video of this um, flipping through it. I have a video of it in action, um, where I'm actually doing a lesson, like I think it's a whole week's worth of activities with my then preschooler. Um, so you can go ahead, I'm gonna leave it linked up here in the cards. I'm also gonna leave it down in the description box. Go check that out because uh, it's it's a long video. Uh, I'm notorious for long videos. <laughs> but it shows you all of the different, I believe it shows you like all the manipulatives that we used in it. Um, this is, it's so easy. When we first started, um, I went through this, like, I was strict. <laughs> I was like, no, we must do all of these things. <laughs> um, now I'm kind of loosey-goosey. I know what, um, which ones the kids like to do, which ones they don't really like to do, which they like to do most of them at least once. And so now I just kind of pick and choose which ones like, oh, like, like this activity isn't in all of the letters. And so I'll pick those activities out. Something that they do love to do. Do I have them in here? Oh gosh, I don't even know if I have them in here. They're like um, number cards. They're like full page and it has a one number and then there's 10 of them. 
and I go and lay them out and say, okay, now jump to number one, now jump to number two. They love that activity. Like all of my kids have loved that one. This has gone through all of them, guys. This is for magnets, so you take it out and I have little round magnets. We put it on the refrigerator. And she just places the magnets, so good fine motor skills there. Um, tracing, and these are all in sheet protectors, and so that's why I can just use these over and over. I've used, I printed these out, oh, I can't even believe that, guys. I printed these out five years ago, <laughs> maybe even six years ago. Man, it was 2017, I think. Oh, gosh. I printed them out, and we've used them for every child. So, yeah. These are all old papers <laughs> and it's just easy I put Ziploc baggies in them and it's just so easy I'm like oh here are the numbers here are the oh this is why because I didn't laminate all of them now the later the later ones I laminated like the whole thing this one I just laminated the front and it's not very sturdy and so that's why I put them in here so yeah guys like I said go through this is all just like individual games that you laminate and cut out and they're all in baggies in here but go and check out my other video because i walk you through the whole thing and there's so much information so if this is something that you are interested in getting for your little one i will leave the link down in the description box so you can um, go check out that video so you know how i organize it and put it together and because uh, this is all just one letter and then i replace the letter every week um, and you can see how I organize the rest of the alphabet <laughs> um, and all of that. So yeah, guys, so this is what I'm going to use for my preschooler. Like I said, we don't have a separate math curriculum. Math is just kind of incorporated into all of this. All right, you guys, well, that was it. That's what we have for my preschooler for this coming school year. I hope that this was helpful to you as you are trying to figure out what to do with your preschooler. And I just wanna give some encouragement. If you are a first time homeschooling mama, then please don't worry. You are not going to ruin your child. <laughs> I encourage you just have fun this preschool year. Um, even if you're going into kindergarten, have fun. Just relax, play, enjoy your child. This is some of the most fun times you have because once you get into fourth, fifth, sixth grade, then you're really gonna start doing some work. <laughs> Oh, and it gets a little bit harder and it gets a little bit more complicated, but right now it's so fun and you know that you know more than your child right now. <laughs> Later on, it's a little bit iffy. <laughs> but I wanna encourage you, mama, just enjoy your small one right now. Treasure these moments that you have with them right now that they love school, that they want to be with you. Just read with them and honestly, I will tell you this, if you just read books with them every day for 15 minutes a day, that's good for your preschooler. And then sit on the floor and play with them, play with blocks or play with magnets or play with something. Um, they just want you, mama. They just want your time. So um, I just wanna encourage you in that. You're not gonna mess up your preschool year. You're going to be just fine whether you buy a curriculum or whether you don't. All right, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon if you want to be notified that there's gonna be new videos coming up soon. And let's be friends. Follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace. All right, you guys, well, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you next time with another video. Bye.